The presence of hydrogen sulfide at high concentrations can be fatal. It's one of the leading causes of sudden death in the workplace and one of the more difficult hazards to recognize. In this course, you'll learn about the chemistry of hydrogen sulfide and how it's formed, the properties and characteristics of this gas, where hydrogen sulfide is likely to be located in your workplace, the potential health hazards of short-term and long-term H2S exposure, how to work safely with hydrogen sulfide, and emergency response steps to take should you or a coworker be exposed to this gas. H2S enters the human body through the nose and mouth. To protect itself, your body breaks down the H2S as rapidly as possible to a harmless compound. If you breathe in so much H2S that your body can't break it all down, the H2S builds up in the blood and you become poisoned. Since the brain is supplied with a large volume of blood, it very quickly receives a large dose of H2S. When it reaches the brain, it paralyzes the brain's ability to control breathing and breathing stops. A worker can be overcome by H2S and lose consciousness in just a few seconds. When a monitor's sensors detect the presence of H2S at a preset level, usually 10 parts per million, it activates an alarm. Keep in mind, these electronic monitors do not think for you you must still be alert to the dangers of H2S. There are many precautions concerning hydrogen sulfide operations that apply no matter which industry you work in. Three common practices to especially know and practice in H2S affected workplaces are the buddy system, working upwind of H2S, and avoiding creating sparks around H2S. The buddy system is a critical safe work practice. Any work in a hazardous location must be carried out using the buddy system. The buddy system involves assigning someone to watch. What would you do if you encountered an H2S hazard? How would you react? Without information on what to do, you could be in extreme danger. Your workplace will be equipped with detailed emergency response procedures. It's your responsibility to know your part in responding appropriately to an H2S emergency situation.